successfully. Give yourselves a round of applause. Woo! Thanks for being here. We're so excited to have each and every one of you with us. We are here for you. And I have some very important people that I need to introduce to you. So you see my backdrop? My head looks a little funny, I know. <laughs> but, but I'm an ambassador. So we have several of them and some of them have the same backdrop or some of them have on their ambassador sash. So what I'm gonna do right now is get those that have their sash on to stand up and let, let them see your sash if you don't have the backdrop. I see Chris. There you go. These, are, these ambassador sashes were sent out at the beginning of the year thinking we were gonna be together, but we're virtual and it doesn't matter. We have learned how to pivot, bounce, whatever you wanna call it. But the most important thing is, is you're here and you're here with us today. I want to let you know sort of a little bit about what the ambassadors do. We're your best friend for the next five days, really forever, okay? But for the next five days, we're your real BFFs. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if there's anything you want to know about Women's Council, put it in the chat box and the ambassadors will be able to answer that question for you. Now, let me introduce our ambassadors. We have, and please raise your hand when I call, when I call your name, okay? We have Tammy Marasia from Colorado, Kay Chapman from California, Fiona Theresa from California, Charmaine Hickey from Florida, Angel Starks from Nebraska, Kay Merg from California, Sharon Browder from Georgia, Melanie Savage from California. I'm gonna say this right. Kajmina Gomez from Florida. Oh. <laughs> she knows I love her. I messed it up, but you know. That's okay. Okay. Uh, Claudia G Gayton, she made the backdrops, guys. Give her a huge round of applause. Jane Rose from Florida and um, Janie from Hilburn, which is Janie Hilburn from Texas. Give those ladies a round of applause. They are ready to serve you for the entire, um, for this entire conference that we have. <clears throat> okay, very quick, very shortly here, we're going to be addressing the leadership team. But I want to know by a raise of hand that everybody received their networking bingo card. Get your hands up. Put your hands up. If I don't see your hand, that means you didn't get your bingo card. And trust me, there you go. Jacqueline, I love she's got it in the air. She's just waving around like she just don't care. That's what I'm talking about. We've also are going to put that bingo card in the chat box where you can download it. Very important. We're going to talk more about that later. But right now, I want to introduce to you your leadership team. We have Brenda Schlachta, which is your 2020 national president. We have Pamela Banks, which is your 2021 president. Right now, she's president-elect, but in a couple of days, don't forget to be at the inaugural. She's going to bring us in. Chris Lee, which is your treasurer for this year. And then you have Carrie Harnot. I'm sorry, I'm, I do forget. Sylvia, where are you at, sweetheart? Sylvia Seaball. She's gonna be coming in as the first vice president and will be the president elect next year, okay? And then we have Chris Lee, our current treasurer. And then we have Carrie Harnot, who's coming in as the treasurer. So many of them are coming in and shifting, but that's your entire leadership team. And I'm going to turn everything over now to Brenda Lee. Well, hello, everyone. Are we going to put the PowerPoint up, Jeff? That'd be great. Excellent job. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I want to thank Tammy for that wonderful introduction of the amazing leadership team. Um, indeed, you are correct. I am Brenda Lee, and I happen to be your 2020 national president, if you didn't know. And I just want, again, recognize all these amazing ambassadors for their hard work. I'm telling you, this is where I started as an ambassador. So I love this, uh, this so much. So um, I hope they... Uh, continue to make you feel very, very welcome. So you are just joining us in 2020. So once again, thank you. And I suggest we get started. So let's get started. So next slide. Um, perhaps uh, you joined us because you had heard of our contagious culture. And I'm talking about contagious in a good way, not in a bad way. 
but we do, we have a contagious culture, right? And you are seeking professional camaraderie and a place to share your ideas, right? So perhaps you were here because you wanted to build a referral network, or maybe you're just looking for a uh, psychological home of sorts. Ultimately, whatever you're looking for, Women's Council is your partner for it all. Next slide. Great, so our mission statement and uh, the phrase that best describes who we are is leaders made here, right? Uh, this is our core purpose and reason for being, uh, which is to create leaders, train leaders and facilitate success as business leaders. Our mission statement says it all, we are a network of successful realtors advancing women as business leaders in the industry and in the communities we serve. While our mission statement is a mouthful, yes it is, it boils it down to three simple words. Once again, leaders made here. So being a leader provides you personal and professional satisfaction, and of course, ultimately, greater success. So the Women's Council, you have to know it to be true. The Women's Council is your partner. History and our heritage, no question about it. We've been around for a couple of years. That's what I want you to know. Now, I realize we are all about today and moving forward. So I get that. I really, really do. But to know where we're going it's good to know where we've come from. So that sort of helps us out. Uh, we belong to an organization steeped in heritage and history. Uh, we are the oldest established affiliate of the National Association of Realtors in existence today. It all began in 1938. I think I was just a, a little girl in 1938. <laughs> Uh, it may be hard to believe, but in the late 1930s, women had been drawn into real estate to fill gaps left by men drafted into military service. The industry was then almost completely dominated by men. The Women's Council was founded in part because some local boards barred membership for women, even as late as the 1950s. Early women leaders in the industry began establishing local councils around the U.S. where women realtors could network with colleagues, share leads, business tips, enjoy camaraderie, and support of women's business networks. So does this sound familiar? I would think that you would think it would. It should, uh, because that still holds true today. Over 32 years ago, most of the economic and social barriers for women in our profession are largely erased at this point, but the Women's Council of Realtors remains a dynamic and evolving organization at, um, at all levels. Women's Council remains focused on the business leadership and creating relationships. Local networks, which are volunteer driven, offer industry events, leadership development opportunities, and a true place where local business leaders are willing to share information, techniques, and to brainstorm. We love that part of it. Mm -hmm. Now, our network provides recognition, support, encouragement, and mentors that are needed to, uh, that needed to grow our business. So the local network experience is an amazing mix of professional relationships, dynamic friendships that you will keep in your life forever. Am I right, guys? Forever. Yeah. And of course, deep-rooted strength, integrity, and caring. So most of, of what we want to talk about today is forward-looking, but I thought it was important for us to look back to give us a little education about our history and how we got to where we're at today. As I mentioned, uh, to know where we're going is good to know, and it's important to know where we've come from as well. So what do we have next? Oh, I love this one as well. This is my thing, guys. This is what I've been saying all across the country because truer words have never been said, all right? When women support each other, 
incredible things happen. Sylvia, you want to speak to that? Absolutely. So um, on this little new member, first time attendee orientation, we're all going to be sharing different benefits for women's council. But for me personally, it has always boiled down to the power of relationships. Well, that might seem odd because we're in a very competitive business. You know, you think if we go to a listing appointment and I want to get the listing over Brenda getting the listing or however it is, it's very different in the women's council world. We are all there to support each other because we are not competitors. In fact, we actually complete each other versus compete against each other. And so just a couple stories I would highlight of how I have seen this in my life. I think about when I first joined women's council and I had very little children and we just basically threw a dart and decided we wanted to go on a family vacation to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina but I knew nothing about the area. And so what does one do? She picks out, um, back then we had actually a book of a referral roster, now it's online, um, and actually called a realtor, a fellow women's council member in that area. And next thing I know, I had an email with all kinds of things. She knew the age of my children and suggested activities that they would like to do. Um, it, it's a great thing because that is how our members work. Um, she did not get any business from having the conversation with me. She did not um, end up with a referral. I mean, I, I toot her horn all the time, but she made a difference in my life and my children's life, which is absolutely what this organization is about. So if you are a new member, I encourage you to jump in with both feet, um, get involved. The return on investment is exponential. Um, you will find your best friends. And I honestly can say I have best friends across the country through women's council. And um, it's funny, sometimes I'll, I'll get interviewed and they'll, they'll ask, well, what do you do in your free time? Or who are your friends? And I'm like, all of my friends have a real estate license. But it's actually true because they understand what we're going through. They understand our life. They understand the volunteer world. And, you know, when we are struggling, our women's council sisters and a few brothers are, are there for us when we can't hold it together. And that's what this organization is all about. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Eileen on the next slide, talking about virtual member benefits. Hey, Sylvia, thank you so much for handing it over. And I have to say, whenever I am curious about any particular topic, the first thing, of course, I go to is Alexa to ask a question to Alexa. The second place I go to is YouTube to see if there's any videos out there. But now that we're in this new, uh, this new environment of everything being virtual and online, Women's Council has stepped up to the plate, and they stepped up to the plate early, by the way, back in March, of all the different things that they can offer to you in the virtual environment. So there's everything from networking events, happy hours, yoga, timely topics on health and wealth, which is what we're doing this week, but also, uh, also educational tools on how to be a better leader, how to do better time management. There's lots of different things that are there. And some of you uh, may not have time to sit on the couch or sit at the kitchen table or sit in your office in order to uh, watch programs. So how about podcasting? We could definitely, uh, we could actually fill that void because some people, they like to be on a walk and they like to be active when they're doing their learning. And so we have several different podcasts that we can offer to you via Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify. We've got it covered. We also, uh, we talk a lot about the four pillars of Women's Council. One pillar is leadership, another pil pillar is referral, one is networking and education. And so we like to be able to offer all of those to you. Uh, referrals is a huge part of Women's Council and how we like to refer to one another. Very similar to what Sylvia was talking about when she went to Myrtle Beach, South, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and she found a Women's Council member there. Well, we have a great platform called Radius, and it's available to you on your phone. It's also available to you at the WCR.org website. If you are looking for an agent anywhere across the United States, go there. Go to WCR.org and find a member through the Radius app. It is so powerful for you to find a fellow Women's Council member. And think about this. There's a lot of people that are moving um, out of state and going into uh, different areas. And so you may not know a women's council 
right now, but in five minutes, you could know where women, it, that you could refer them to a women's council member in a different state, 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 Colorado, Arizona, Maryland, Michigan, you name it. So in 30 seconds, you can get to know a new women's council member. So think about that. Think about all the different uh, benefits that are available virtually, including our networking our social events, our Women's Council Wednesday. Think about podcasting that we're able to give you education, um, education and inspirational podcasting, and also the virtual events that we offer. So I think that we could tick the boxes. If 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 you're wondering what what value that your Women's Council membership can bring to you, you need this is the one slide that you need to get all the benefits, and of course our Office Depot discount. Don't forget about our uh, our the Women's Council Savings Center as well. So thank you so much, Sylvia. I really appreciate this opportunity to touch all of our new members, and to spread the love about Women's Council. So Eileen, I just want to make sure everybody knows who Eileen is. <laughs> Eileen has been given you this opportunity to speak about our member benefits because I don't think anybody does a better job than putting them all into place and getting the word out. So we appreciate that so much. Eileen is a, a, a national liaison as well as the president of the uh, network for the state of California. So this lady's got, she knows what she's talking about. She knows what she's talking about. So thank you so very, very much. Yes, thank you. And it's an honor to serve the Eastern region in 2021. Thank you so much, Brenda. There you go. We're excited about it. I think the next slide gives us the savings. Um, does it give us the savings slide? Yeah, there's the savings center that uh, we, we were talking about. Uh, Eileen was talking about it. And of course, I have to highlight the fact that you can get Disney tickets. Of course, you have to go forward with that. No question about it. Lots of good stuff there. Um, but let's get Stacy, Stacy Krolak. Now, Stacy has been um, uh, the Arizona state president, but she is also currently a national liaison. So, Stacy, why don't you give us a little intel with regard to Radius? Because I know for a fact that Stacy just took a referral from one of my agents and uh, <laughs> referrals are the name of the game. So Stacy, give us a little insight with regard to Radius and what that's all about. Yes, I am Stacy Krolak from Arizona and I'm here to spread the love about Radius. I love this platform and I am so excited to talk to you about it today. I use it all the time and I, I couldn't be happier that the Women's Council is providing this for everyone. So please go on your Radius, set up your profile and get communicating and sharing ideas with other members. What I like about the Radius uh, platform so much is that I believe it gives, it provides us with a professional profile and credibility. It's similar to, I, I feel like a LinkedIn and a Facebook kind of mixed together. It scrolls like a Facebook, so you can post and, and share ideas that way and listings, but then it, it's also telling our community about yourself. So you have a nice banner in the back that you can make with Canva, you post your profile file picture and then you tell everybody about yourself there's a, a huge area where you can uh, tell everybody what you've done maybe in your past life what you're currently doing now and what you aspire to do so people can really get a feel for you even though they're communicating virtually which we all are doing these days right so also it tells everybody uh, maybe listings that you have you can post it at scrolls like Facebook open houses, broker opens that you have, or what you need. Do you need a, a lender in this area? Do you need a, a title person to answer this question? You post those pictures out there, your needs and wants, and you start communicating with our community. And I just, I love the flexibility and how fast everybody responds. So it's great and it's on the go. And I use the app all the time when I'm in the car, um, well, not driving, right? Just as a passenger, but uh, you know, out in the field, I'm using it constantly. I don't have to wait until I open up my laptop. I can just use it immediately. Uh, you put your areas that you serve. It will actually put on a map where your listings are and your buyer needs. So I just, I absolutely love that. And then let's talk about the referral section. Oh my gosh. So you will find your person that you want to do business with. You call them, maybe you have a conversation or maybe you're just doing it all through text. You can do the whole referral with signatures and DocuSign 
on the app and then you send it respectively to your broker's office and everything is filed with the women's council and your office and you get paid immediately. I love that. It's just one and done. Your productivity goes up. I'm always looking, um, I'm sure as you are too, is how do I increase my productivity while I'm increasing my sales? So voila, uh, Radius does that for us. They also have a really nice assist area where you can go in, you can find um, how they can help you uh, retrieve leads and do better in your business. And they'll actually even go in and tell you about your profile and maybe what you can improve. So you can reach more of the people that you're looking to uh, reach your sphere of influence, right? And then set up all your notifications. Oh my gosh, I love this center because I have everything that notifies me. Anyone message me, I get a text immediately. Someone is, needs something with my referral, it messages me immediately. And I can just, it's a call of action and I can get more done faster and I just absolutely love it. Does anyone um, have any, well, I, could, I can't say that, any questions? We're not in that <laughs> mode yet, but... <laughs> I'm always, I'm always saying that at the end, right? It's my wrap up. But I just, I love the flexibility and I love that we are communicating so fast and being able to get all of our information out there. So thank you for adapting Radius Women's Council. Oh gosh, I, don't you love her enthusiasm? I mean, <laughs> she, you can see this is someone who is genuinely using the things that are being provided to you as a member benefit. And this is a free member benefit, uh, member to member. That's a free uh, free member benefit. So that's super exciting. Customizable, right? Branded. I mean, what more can you ask for? And uh, it is about those referrals. It's a big part of, of uh, my business as well. Thank you so much, Stacy. Thank you, Madam President. Okay, well... Who do we have next? What do we've got on our slide? Oh, I know. We're going to flip over to PMN, Performance Management Network. And I am going to reach to the fabulous Pamela Banks, who is your incoming president, to share all the cool things about PMN because we are having a surge with regard to PMN, aren't we, Pamela? Most definitely. Thank you, Brenda Lee. And good afternoon to all of our new members and first timers. I can remember the first time I attended a Women's Council Realtors Conference. You have no idea of the journey you're about to begin. So congratulations on taking the first step. You know, Eileen mentioned some of those pillars and education, of course, is one of our major pillars because education is key to our success. So you heard Brenda Lee say PMN, that's a designation that is the official designation of the Women's Council of Realtors. It is called the Performance Management Network designation. And I have to share with you that that was the first designation I ever received going back, oh, many, many years ago. And I, the reason I chose that, because as you know, as a realtor, we have so many choices when it comes to designations. And many times, if you're like me, you start one and then you've got all these courses you have to take and you, you get busy and you never get back to it. That's the difference between the PMN and all the other designations. We make it easy. We have several different tracks for you to go. The first course that I took that I loved was the business of your business because it gave me insight on how to run my business as a business and to work on my business and not in my business. And Terry Watson, if anyone knows Terry, well, you know, Terry is an amazing instructor. He was bouncing off the wall. He was so excited. I was like, I didn't know where to look. And it was a time when the market was really down and it was 2008 around in there. And Terry said to us, he said, how many of you watch the news? And we all raised our hands, you know, because we, we were informed. And then he said, how many of you watch the news in the morning when you wake up and, you know, I raised my hand. He goes, how many of you watch it at night before you go to bed? And I raised my hand. He said, stop, stop. He said, listen to things that are positive. So taking a course, any of the courses, we have many different ones. 
referral and networking. We all talked about referrals and how the Women's Council is the number one organization for referrals and networking with the relationships that we talked about. We talked about how we can get with one another, how we can build relationships. The PMN designation gives you options and that's what's so cool about it. We have two tracks. We have a business referral track where you can go online to wcr.org and find out all the information on taking a course or we have a business leadership track making it so simple. The thing I love about these courses is they are real world courses. They actually touch you in ways that you've never been touched before because this is a designation that not only focuses on your business, it focuses on, it focuses on you as a person and that's what sets it apart. We have discounts going on. We have many different options that you can take other courses that you can fill in like you know, diversity, e-pro. There's so many different courses that you can take. The one thing that you wanna know is when you become a special designee of the Women's Council Realtors PMN, you are an elite group. We are known as the cream of the crop because our members of the PMN, they are contribute, 72% uh, of us contribute to our pack. That's the highest in the real estate family. So if you wanna be part of that group, check out the PMN and you won't be sorry. So we hope to see you and give you a designation real soon. Enjoy the conference, enjoy every minute of it, and welcome to the Women's Council of Realtors. Back to you, Brenda Lee. Why, thank you, Pamela. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. And yeah, I have my uh, performance management network um, uh, designation as well. And some of you may have even been able to participate in the pop-up, the PMN pop-up course that was put on today by Lee and uh, Juanita. So maybe you've experienced uh, a pop-up course as well. And then there's the newest one that we rolled out about a year and a half ago, maybe I'm going to say, and that is the uh, powerful presentations class. So that's another real good one because as a, a leader in any capacity, you're going to find yourself in a situation in front of others and it really helps to have a little bit of confidence, a little something under your belt there to make you feel confident enough to stand in front of that room and command that room. So I highly recommend you find yourself in um, maybe that powerful presentations course as well. Okay, so what is next up? What are we going to do? Oh, business leadership in action. So I want you to know that what we have, what you're looking at here is um, the way it is right now because we have our regional vice presidents on our little funnel here. So what I'd like to do is uh, reach out to my dear friend, uh, Chris Lee. Now, Chris is our treasurer uh, for 2020 and doing a fabulous job. Hey, Chris. And uh, we're going to, and then she'll be your first vice president in 2021. So Chris, give us some, um, let's give us some intel regarding this business leadership in action. Thank you, Brenda Lee. Thank you and welcome everybody. Happy to see everybody here. Um, yes, this slide does show the regional vice president. And in 2021, it says 2020, but for 2021, we're moving toward the national liaison. So we've heard from two of them already. You'll meet the third one in a moment. But this is an inverted pyramid on purpose because what it actually is graphically showing is that our members are the most important. They are the base of our organization. They're the reason we're all here. And each tier of leadership below that is all there by design to support our membership base. So that is why it's an inverted pyramid. And the most important is that at the top and that's our members. So the governing board that makes up um, all of the executive committee next year, national liaison, local network presidents, and then 105 people, plus all the past national uh, presidents that are in there. Our national staff is led by our fabulous EVP, Jeff Hornberger. Hopefully you've all seen him. Howdy, Jeff. You're on here, yes? <laughs> we, 
We have wonderful staff that do amazing things for us, especially given the size of our organization and how few staff we have. So they are so on point. And I just always want to give a great shout out to our staff. So thank you again. Um, you also see on here that the we have our leadership Institute. So this is one of the opportunities we have to grow your leadership skills, our leadership institute, project teams. These are all things we have at the national level in addition to your state and local levels. Um, the leadership institute is kind of geared toward um, men and women that are a little bit more experienced in the governance and the structure of the council and the organization and are looking to take their leadership skills to the next level. And if you're newer and wanting to get more involved in the council, what we have is a leadership identification and development committee and a process um, that is held at your state level. There's a chair and a committee, they meet, they go through the talent in your state. They're looking to fill the pipeline of the state leadership team, as well as the local networks. You can either be um, recommended to that through that process by your local network, or you can self nominate as well. So you can raise your hand, go on the website anytime during the year, Put your name and information in there and say, I want to be involved more. I want to do something beyond my own network. This is what I want to do. And they might look at your application and say, this is fabulous. We love that you want to do this. We're going to put you over here and help you get there so you can really blossom under what you're looking to do for your goals. Or they might look at that and say, this is fabulous. We're going to refer you back to your network because you may not have enough experience within our council or governance structure to get to that goal that you want. And we need to fast track you and backfill some of that information for you there. And it's through that process also that names are submitted to the national level where then the leadership team goes through and we can have the opportunity to appoint members from across the country to various project teams and task forces throughout the year, depending on their um, skills and what they're looking to accomplish and how we can help them grow as well. So the leadership identification and development process is something that we're constantly working on, tweaking, encouraging participation. And like I said, this is happening at your local level and the state level. You can also self-nominate anytime through the year. Uh, one other thing that I maybe wanted to talk about was opportunities within NAR. Um, we are known to be a leadership growing organization and we are known to NAR for growing leaders. And when you look at the NAR governing board, given the size of our membership, we're about 1% of all realtors, roughly. And yet, if you look at the NAR governing board, we're 23 to 25% of those members every year. So we're obviously a huge force and factor and our leadership training just shines. We're, we're rock stars and we're nailing it and kicking it out of the park every year. And that's because of our members. And that's because of everything that you guys do. So we encourage you to get involved that way in our industry. There are many ways you can support your journey in the NAR side and even beyond outside of your industry in your communities. So for example, I've been involved the last couple of years. I looked at myself and said, okay, Chris, you've kind of gotten into this national networking thing pretty well. Maybe you should figure out how to do that in your community and how can you use those skills that you've learned back in your community. And I've had the opportunity, fortunately, to be appointed to a couple of committees by the mayor, citizen committees, and I've been asked to help start a foundation for our police department. And I would not have had that opportunity. It wouldn't even be on the radar had it not been for the training I've received in the Women's Council of Realtors. So there are so many things that we can learn here that open so many doors in other parts of our lives and opportunities that we just aren't aware of. And the only way to really even know is to be involved. You've got to take that step. You're, you're the one that has to take the motion, make the action and get involved, network and learn the skills and do it. So thank you all for being here. There's a lot of opportunities behind the scenes here. And if you need anything, reach out to any one of us because that's why we're here. So I think that's all I needed to cover there. At this point, I'm going to welcome Sheila Moran. And as I mentioned, she's our last 2021 National Pre uh, Liaison to present today. And she is the National Liaison for the West. I know Sylvia said something earlier that the Central is the best, but I don't know, I think in the West and we stole Sheila. So Sheila, welcome to the West. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. 
Sheila Moran here coming from Texas. And the first thing that I want to commend all of you new members is what a great step into your first steps of Women's Council. Now I'm gonna talk about a few things and personally myself and my journey, but think about when I joined 20 years ago and four, and I was very, very shy at this time. But when I showed up, it took me almost eight years to plug myself in. That's eight years I lost of the benefits I've been receiving from Women's Council ever since then. Do not be like me, jump both feet in, see what you can do, see who, see who you can partner with or who you can network with within your own local network. There's nothing better than learning in a safe environment, being pushed to your limits, being working with local people in your area and being on a team player. You learn so much about the people that you're actually doing business with. And it always makes that transaction go a lot smoother. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about is when you go up to your state, when I was fortunate enough, my network took me up when I was only a, a, a committee chair, when we had committees back then. And so I went to what was called an orientation for the state of Texas. So imagine me walking into this room filled of fabulous, smart people. And I literally turned around to my team and said, there's more like us? I thought it was just us in little old San Antonio. No, there was more, there was a lot more. In, in a large state as in Texas, there was 1200 members more. And once I was able to work with my state and work amongst the other people within my state, that's when the real learning process happened. Not only was I able to help my local people as far as if there was scholarships or avenues that I thought that they would work well in in their own leadership journey, but also being able to bring back to our network and make our network even better knowing what was going on within our state. So I seriously encourage you to be be involved as much as you can and think about it. There's a lot different task force now that you can just be on for a period of time. There's a lot of things that you can do within your own network until you're ready to even step up and do something at state. But I promise you the what you put into it is exactly what you will receive it and it's always rewarding. One little tip I want to talk to you about is within my own local, um, I, I come from a very large city, so I work mostly one side of town and I met someone through Women's Council. I knew about her, I had done some transactions with her, but I didn't really know her until I took some time to get to know her within my own local network. What the two of us were able to do is share our referrals back and forth so we weren't driving all over our city and spending oodles of hours in the car. And I'll tell you that partnership that I had with her, it got to the point where we were each sharing so much, we ended up not even paying each other referrals because we knew it was going to work out in the end. Now that is using your time wisely and also being beneficial from what you're able to put in from Women's Council. And not only that, I made a great friend for life. So that's one of the other bonuses. So think about what you can do, what you want to do, what your skill set is, or is there something new you want to learn? Because there's a good chance there is somebody within your network that if you said, I was really hoping to someone to explain these things or help me um, be able to move up in certain positions, whether it is in Women's Council, whether it's at my board, whether it's in my community, there's going to be someone there that's willing to take you under their wings and help you with whatever it is that your goal is to achieve. So walk in with an end result, have an open heart. Remember, there's going to be a lot of different personalities, but that's what makes the world go around. But most importantly, jump in both feet. Don't wait. Thank you so much. Great job, Sheila. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're right, because to together we are powerful, aren't we, Sheila? Absolutely. Absolutely. Great job. Okay, so let's see here. What do we need to talk about uh, more? We have our national meetings and our conferences. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to invite the fabulous Carrie Hartnett Carrie is our treasurer elect, and she will be your treasurer for 2021. So Carrie, give us some insights with regard to the national meetings and the conferences, and then give us a little highlight with regard to Elevate. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, Brenda Lee. It's amazing to be here. I am Carrie Hartnett, as Brenda mentioned. I am coming to you from the beautiful Oregon coast, Astoria, where I just landed uh, my feet this year. Um, I have been going to national meetings since 2000 and 
five, I believe. And this will be the second since then that I've missed. So I'm missing you all. But one of the things that is so incredibly amazing as has already been mentioned, we have some incredible members. Um, at our national conference last year in 2019, that was in San Francisco when many of us were together for the last time, we had about 671 registrants. This year already, we have about, we'll probably land at about 800. So right here, right now is an opportunity to meet so many amazing people and like-minded individuals. One of the things that I love about meeting people from across the country is, um, well, first of all, number one, this year and many years, but this year, um, the majority, if not all of my business is coming from re referrals from across the country. And so, um, I wouldn't have that happen if I didn't have these amazing relationships with these wonderful people from all over the world, or excuse me, all over the country and some, you know, in other parts of the world as well. Uh, but I, I wouldn't have ever met these people if I hadn't gone to these meetings. And, and I, you know, I, I've been coming back, as I said, pretty much every year for 16, about 16 years. Um, we've got, we just, so we're getting ready to come into our power week. You're all here. It's exciting. It's going to be a wonderful week that we, uh, kind of as not to overuse the word, but just say it pivoted this year and, and put on a new twist for our, our conference this year, where you are going to get some amazing things, not only about how to build wealth, but really how to stay healthy and take care of yourself so that you can take better care of others as well. So that's that's what you're gonna be learning here this week. It's exciting. There's a lot of networking opportunities. I encourage you all to take your virtual uh, business cards and make sure that your names are kind of include where you're from so that when people are looking to refer someone, you never know, there's been several, several opportunities where people have, uh, tossed back and forth referrals at the day at, at the conference. So make sure that you're naming yourself with your area that you're at. That's a, a great way. Network with people. Don't be shy. You're going to be thrown into some, some small groups that hopefully um, you are encouraged and feel safe to speak up. So make sure that you're, you're making those connections. And then just to highlight a little bit about one of our upcoming, this is a new, or I guess, uh, recycled kind of, a concept that we have. We have an Elevate seminar coming up in uh, in February, which is going to be two different tracks. One regard one uh, all for all for leadership development and how to take your networks and your 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 community involvement and all that to the next level, if you will. Uh, and then the other is uh, regarding business development and how to grow your business. Maybe you're adding a team. Maybe you're opening a brokerage. All sorts of ideas around that piece. So I highly, I'm excited for you all to be here. It's, so, it's great to see so many new faces and familiar faces, and I hope you make the most out of this week. Thank you, Miss Carrie. I appreciate you so very, very much. So let's see here. We're doing good. Our timing is great because, you know, we're going to have our welcome very soon. So thank you for joining us again. And I want to remind everybody too, don't forget to download your bingo card. So uh, we'll have Tammy speak to that again. So let's see here. What else do I want to tell you? What should we let you know? Let's talk about uh, social, getting social and staying connected. Okay, that's super important as well. So we want you to connect with us on social media. Of course we do. Um, our official fan page is WCR Fans. And uh, make sure you like us and uh, get, uh, you want to get the updates along with uh, the other $100,000 100, followers that we have on social media. Um, we have a very active Instagram uh, account as well as Twitter and of course YouTube pages as well. And uh, our YouTube page has hundreds of virtual events and uh, videos there so that you can educate yourself. And then of course on social media, we ask you to use the hashtag Women's Council as well as um, Leaders Made Here. So that's our hashtags, Women's Council and Leaders Made Here. So recognize too that we have, and you're gonna meet them in the welcome. We're gonna have a slide there. We have our social uh, influencers and I'm gonna highly recommend that you uh, like them and follow them and uh, see what's going on because they have that inside track. They're, they see things um, and uh, get it out there so that you're in the know as they say. 
And of course, one of the things that I just love about Women's Council on social media is how we feature our successful leaders. I love reading about the successful leaders that are part of our organization. And of course, um, what we do is we profile them. This also gives you the opportunity uh, to connect and uh, see how the Women's Council experience have helped them achieve their goals. And then ultimately, maybe we'll help you achieve your goals. The whole thing, honestly, is very, very inspiring. So please get social with us, stay connected, follow our social influencers. Hey, and as a matter of fact, I think there was a video posted uh, with Renee. Renee is one of our social uh, uh, influencers. And uh, I have donned four different um, masks. And the question of the day is, what masks do you think I'm going to be wearing at the inaugural? So four beautiful masks. We'll see. You want to get in on that action. Maybe there's a little something, something in it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, great job. So next up, you know, we have been talking about a lot of things. We have had the ability to hear from Sylvia and Eileen and Stacy and Pamela, Chris Lee, uh, Sheila Moran, and of course, Carrie Hartnett, and they're all sharing great information with you, but it was like drinking from a, uh, from a fire hose. So you may say, well, where is it that I'm going to be able to um, uh, stay in the loop, uh, keep, my, keep the information flowing and keeping it straight so that I can actually make a difference? So with that being said, I want you to be aware of something called eConnect, right? So eConnect is our official uh, newsletter of the Women's Council uh, of Realtors. And know that it is emailed monthly and uh, posts online for you to reference at uh, your convenience. So I find myself doing that as well, going into wcr.org, wcr.org. And then I go in and I sort of go back because I know that there was an article about that or I remember there's something there and I go back and I read quite often um, some of our, our past uh, publications. So please know that, that there, it is there for you and it's something that you're going to find very, very useful. Anyway, eConnect uh, contains the latest uh, council news. There's tips for your business and, of course, your personal growth. So I don't want you to worry. I want you to know that we are going to totally keep you in the loop of everything that's going on. You're going to love it. And that eConnect is going to be your best friend. All right. So ah, great job, team. I'm so excited you're all here. And here's what I want you to do. I wanna make sure that you enjoy the journey, no matter what that journey looks like, right? We, did, we didn't know what 2020 was gonna play out to, but we have thoroughly enjoyed the journey. And I encourage all of you to enjoy the journey as well. Um, and, and, it, and sometimes it may seem uh, there's lots of growth that's going to take place with you there. Uh, I want you to know that I agree with what everybody said. You've all made a great decision to join us today and uh, continue on with the conference. You're going to get a lot of great information and we're going to uh, thoroughly and enjoy our time together, whether we're jazzercising, we're learning about wealth or health or self. The whole thing is going to be totally worth your time. And I'm sure you're going to be pulling out some huge nuggets out of uh, the time that you spend uh, with all of us together. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, um, I also want to remind you that we are going to be doing our uh, conference welcome. And that is going to be, I'm looking for my sheets. That is going to be five o'clock today. And of course, five o'clock when I talk, I want you to remember that we are going to be basing everything on central standard time. So you recognize that when I'm in Eastern time and I've got uh, Carrie, she's over in um, uh, the Pacific time. So there's all these different mountain time and all that. So we need you to be aware that we are speaking in central time and then you do the, you do the calculation yourself. So uh, with that being said, I hope to see all of you again as we gather for our conference welcome. And uh, if you have any questions, I want to do this, this as well. And I've been doing this across the country this, this year. And so I would be remiss if I didn't give you guys the opportunity as well. Please know that uh, I am always here for you. 
And I would like to give you my cell phone. And if somebody wants to put it in the chat, that'd be great as well. Um, but my cell phone is a 586-246-4600. If you need me, reach out to me. Texting is always best because I'm on the screen so much, but 586-246-4600. Reach out. Let me know how you're doing. Good. Wh whatever happens to be happening, let's stay connected. Let's grow together because that camaraderie piece that contagious culture that we have, it's important to keep it going, even though we are virtual right now. We'll be together again, right, Tammy? You're, yeah. Tammy, you're muted. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Tammy, I think I'm all set. Is there anything you wanna add? Uh, no, we're ready to play bingo. All the okay, new, all of our new we are ready, okay? So let me explain the bingo game real quick. And I'd like to see if um, Angel, St Angel Starks, are you in the room? Okay. I don't see Angel, but I'm sure she's in the room. Let me break down how the- Are you there? Hello? Okay. Hello? Okay. I don't, I don't, <laughs> This is the virtual world. We're going to get into it. Okay, so let me break down how the bingo game is going to work. This is for first-time attendees, okay? So I'm, I'm, my phone is blowing up. Can I get a bingo sheet? Can I get a bingo sheet? Not unless you're a first-time attendee or you're a new member, okay? Other than that, this is that's what this bingo sheet is for. So take a look at your bingo sheet. Everybody should have gotten one today um, in your email, or it's already been put in the chat box. Go ahead and print that off. So... First, you want to print off the bingo card. You're going to be meeting people all through this conference. These ambassadors, everyone that has the backdrop or the sash that says ambassadors, we are your new BFF, okay? Whatever you need throughout this conference and you see an ambassador in any of the classes, just send us a chat and we'll do our best to answer any of the questions that we can for you or we will find the answer for you. So the bingo card, you're going to be able to have um, sorry, um, each one of the bingo card, each one of the bingos is going to have a special uh, question inside the box. You can either do one line down or across, as long as you have five boxes that are checked. So each square, you can put a person's different name in there. You get five signatures in a row and you'll be entered into a drawing to win $25 gift card from the Women's Council Team Store. That's four winners, okay? So... But if you get real, really excited and you want to go a little bit extra mile and you want to do a coverall or a blackout, whichever you want to call it. I'm from up north and we call it a, a coverall. Down south told me I'm wrong. It's called a blackout. So however y'all want to do it is fine with me. So you can either just do a regular bingo, scan it to me. I'm going to put my information in the chat box. My number is 404-944. 2326, or you can email me at noll, which is N O L L T A M M Y J at gmail.com. We will announce the winners at the beginning of the governing board meeting, and you will know who that who that who they are. However, we also have another part of this. Whoever does cover all, you're going to win a bottle of wine from one of our great. Um, great states that we have in Women's Council. Where is it going to come from? I don't know, but you'll see when you win. We're so excited to be playing this game with you. So let's start. How many of you are ready to play bingo? We're going to help you out here, especially while we have all the, all the um, officers, the line officers here, okay? So do we have anyone in the room right now? There's 118 people in the room still. Is there a current Women's Council governor in the room? If there is, put your name in the chat box. And guess what? You have your very first bingo, or your very first check off the box of bingo. Do we have any ambassadors? I want to see your names come in the chat box. Not ambassadors, I meant governors. I do apologize. Okay. Oh, here we go. We have some governors coming in. Check out the names, ladies. 
and men, I do apologize, 10% of our, of our members are men and they're the best part of Women's Council. Okay. All right, so we have some names coming through the chat box. Those are your governors. Let me just give you one more. And it seemed like on Facebook, every one of Women's Council received some form of an, of an NAR position. Did it not seem like that to you all? It did to me. So is there anyone in the room that is currently an NAR director? If the, you are, put your name in the chat box. Pretty easy, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have breakout sessions that you're gonna have throughout this conference. And inside the conferences, we're gonna network and we're gonna do a lot of other different games and you're gonna have a, a, some other people speak to you. But the majority of the time that you're in session this week, if you have a question that you wanna ask, put it in the chat box and say that you are a first time attendee and you're playing bingo. Green Eileen, we have her down as an NAR director. She's also your liaison for the Eastern region. So right yeah, now, I'm going to go ahead. OK, I would like to now introduce Angel Starks. Angel, if you're in the room, we're going to turn it over to you. OK. I don't know where Angel's at, but if you find her, tag her. She should have her little ambassador thing on. So at this point, Madam President, um, we are, are done. Unless, do you guys want to play one more? Anybody want to get another box? Get another okay. box, Tammy. Okay, so let me see some hands going here. Okay, let's see this. Anyone? that has been in real estate for over 15 years. Anyone that has been in over real estate for, everybody's going yes, yes, yes in the chat box, keep going. Peggy Pentecost, Christine Carroll, Carrie Hunt. Wow, boy, y'all been in the business a long time. <laughs> That's fabulous. Okay, now if I keep giving them to you, you won't have to work for them. And the main, the main reason for this bingo is to network. How are you gonna to get to know each other if you don't have an opportunity to network with each other? And that's what this is all about these next couple of days. Taking the opportunity to go into this chat box and hopefully you'll find a friend along the way, which I'm sure you will. You already have about 12 ambassadors that are ready for you in any way we can. But in, along the way, we want you to ask those questions off this bingo sheet. And before you know it, at the end of this day, at the end of this conference, you are going to have a new, a new friend for life in Women's Council. That's what it's all about. It's about the relationships that you build in Women's Council. We're so excited to have you, and I look forward to hearing what you say at the end of this conference. Thank you so much for being with us today, and we're going to start back in about five o'clock, I believe it is, Brenda Lee, and I'm going to pass it back to you. You are 100% correct. We are going to certainly start up again at five o'clock Central Standard Time. So you have some time to stretch your legs and uh, you know uh, have some conversations. There are some questions in there. I see them popping up and I love this so much. And you are going to be part of this contagious culture that we enjoy and is a big part of our growth. So I am going to say au revoir and I will see everybody at five o'clock uh, Central Standard Time. Don't forget, you received an email this morning where it, we have all the links in there. So you're simply going to click on the link that takes you to the welcome. So I will see everybody in a little bit less than an hour. Thanks, guys. Thank you.